Well, 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 God bless you, wonderful people of God. What's happening is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and as I like to say to my Cuban friends, Santo Domingo. Santo la gloria de Jesucristo en el nombre de Jesús. Taco, 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 fuego, fuego, fuego. Burrito, carne asada, quesadilla, todo con carne. Oh, un persona dice amen. What's up, people of God? I'm here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we're going to be in Miami very soon. Listen, I want to talk to you. We are obviously in an open window, a season of Passover. And this is a very prophetic time. And I believe there's divine alignment coming to your life. So I want to talk to you today about some things that's going on in my life. And I want to prophesy to you. I want to give you the word of the Lord. Because this is such a crucial, important time. Amen. Now, if you've been following me on my personal page, you know that I've had... A little bit of a, a stressful time the last 24, actually it's been about 30 hours now. But God is good and the devil is a liar. So uh, whenever something happens in a prophetic person's life, especially a public figure, many times it becomes a sign. I want to say sign. It becomes a sign of the times. It becomes a sign of what God's doing corporately. And I believe he's shaken off the distractions. He's shaken off, breaking off the leaven. And in this Pesach Passover time, there's an acceleration taking place. And truly, the Lord is aligning things. And he's releasing divine kairos, alignment, focus, clarity. Somebody say amen. Do you feel like there's greater focus? Like there's a shift in the spirit? Amen. So I want to talk to you today. And uh, so let's build up the room. Give us some hearts and likes. Share, share, share. Let me know where you're watching from. I've had a big weekend and uh, every weekend, every weekend is big in the kingdom or as my favorite person likes to say, huge. It's huge in the kingdom. And uh, I want to talk to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. So Hag Pesach Sameach, Hag Sameach, Hag Pesach. And Hag in Hebrew means happy or celebration. And of course, Sameach means new year, new season. And so Pesach is Passover. So Hag Pesach Sameach. Somebody say amen. Well, let me know where you're watching from so I could give you some shout outs, all of our lovely friends and followers watching from around the world. And just uh, smash the like button, the share button, give us some hearts and likes. Let me know where you're watching from so I could release some fire over the region, the city, the state, the country that you are representing today in this prophetic atmosphere. Amen. Thank you, Demetrius. Connecticut in the house. God bless you. From Nigeria, Chebike. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Arizona, good to see you, Chanel. Florence, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Amen. VT, what is that? Is that Vermont? Terry Ann. Georgia in the house. Sweet, sweet Georgia. Amen. You're just a state above me. I'm in Springfield, Florida for the next, Spring Hill for, for the next three days. Where is that? Is that near me? Come see us this weekend. Um, Halifax, Nova Scotia. What a wonderful state, city. Oh, you're from Canada. Oh, Canada. Amen. Grenada. Oh, that's awesome. Grenada in the house. Amen. Temecula, California. Mary, good to see you. Mary, listen. Our next Miracle Night at our studio. You need to come. All right? You need to come. Be on the lookout for that. Bishopville, South Carolina. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Juan Martinez, my wonderful friends and family from Dallas, Texas. Oh, Lewis, Scotland from the Isle, the Western Isle, the Stornoway Isle of Lewis, Scotland. What wonderful. So it is incredible. We are reaching the nations through this prophetic broadcast. Haines City, Haines City. Where's that from? Phoenix, Arizona. Hello, Christina Wilson. Bless you. I recognize that face here. Cape Town, South Africa. My Safa family is in the, his house. Praise God. Ooh, Guyana in the house. Oh, I love Guyana. Bless you, bless you. Rabbi, connect from South Africa. Amen. My South African friends and family love and miss you all. Amen. Well, praise God. Cameroon, bless you, brother. Bless, 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 bless you, brother. Bang, bang. From Germany. Wow, Miami, Florida. Well, I'm going to be in Miami this weekend, so we hope to see you. Amen. I'm going to be in Miami actually Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So I hope to see you. Let your friends and your haters know. Amen. Prophet Zivan from downtown Los Angeles represents Los Angeles. Amen. Amen. 
Cape Town, praise God. Well, lift up your hands. Father, thank you. I thank you right now for your precious spirit, for your precious anointing, your presence that never leaves, that never forsakes us. And God, I thank you for every single person that's tuning in, tapping into this broadcast. I ask you for fresh fire, for an impartation of the power of God. We take authority over every spirit of distraction, every infirmity, any witchcraft that's causing your people to be chaotic and to experience chaos. I declare right now, your chaos is turning into peace. The storm is turning into shalom. Father, I thank you that you are seated above and you laugh at the heavens, in the heavens above. You laugh at your enemies. I thank you for a laughing anointing. I thank you for the joy of the Lord, which is my strength. Can I get an amen? Come on, bubble up, bubble up. I pray right now. Let the glory begin to bubble up out of your belly. That's right, out of your big belly. Let the glory of God bubble up out of your big belly. Amen. Bula, Fiji. Can't wait to be back in Fiji later on this year. So Lord, I thank you for the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Well, people of God, there is a plethora of things that I want to say today. And if you don't know what plethora means, it's just a nice word of saying cornucopia or a host or a bountiful, plentiful, many things. I have many things I want to say. So listen, um, first and foremost, welcome. Hak Sameach, Hak Pesach Sameach, of course, is Passover. And you know me, uh, we move in the oil of Issachar. We move in the Issachar anointing. So this is a prophetic channel of times and seasons where we discern the times, we discern the seasons, and we prophesy according to the word of the Lord. Who your knows your chronos is turning into kairos. So truly, this is a kairos moment. Can I get an amen? Listen, friends, we are in an eight-day window of open heavens. Eight days. Passover is an eight-day celebration. All right, Passover is an eight-day Feast festival of acceleration where Israel is born, Israel is birthed. So I want to declare that new things are being birthed out of you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is birthing. Winds of change are blowing. His fresh breath is breathing. There is a new glory shift movement coming upon you. Somebody say amen. So we are in a divine eight day window of shifts, of suddenlies. Breakthroughs and accelerations, if you receive that and believe it, I want you to say amen. Listen, number of things I want to talk to you about, but once again, Hak Pesach Sameach. Hak Sameach, Hak Pesach, which means happy Passover, happy celebration of Passover, if you receive it, say amen. Now, I'm here in Fort Lauderdale, okay? I'm going to be ministering in Miami Thursday night, Friday night, and Sunday, and then Saturday this weekend, I'm going to be ministering in Fort Lauderdale right over here. So I'm very happy to be here. It's actually my second time in all of my lifetime. Of course, I'm a world traveler, but it's my second time uh, I've actually been in this in these cities, in these regions. And it's actually my first time I'll be ministering. So I'm very happy to be able to minister in the glory here. I feel something very strong, prophetic I knew coming into Miami and this region, South Florida, that God was going to move mega with miracle signs and wonders. Uh, well, guess what? The lineup is incredible. Of course, you got myself by the grace of God. You have my covenant brother, Prophet Adrian Pose from Cuba and from Tampa. He's a glory carrier and miracle worker himself. And also the hosting apostle, Apostle David, and us three coming together, bam, bam. It's going to be a glory explosion this weekend. Somebody say amen. So be on the lookout for any broadcasts or any updates because it's going to be awesome. And like I said, if you're in the Florida region or the South Florida region, come and see us, Miami, Dade County. Pray that DJ Khaled, Pitbull, pray that all these people get saved in the fire of God. Somebody say amen. But I'm over here, and then next week, I'm going to be in Santa Maria, California. Santa Maria, California, with Steve Swanson. That's going to be incredible. So if you're in the Central Cal, if you're in Southern Cal, North Cal, it's going to be a California convergence. Ooh, I like that. A California convergence next week. Myself, Steve Swanson. Steve Swanson is a worship leader, legend pioneer in the worship, prophetic worship camp uh, realm. Incredible. It's going to be an awesome time. Somebody say amen. Well, 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 there's a number of things I want to talk to you about, but really what I feel today is a restoration and a returning. There is a returning 
of things coming back to you. And that's really what restoration is, amen? Restoration means that whatever was lost, taken, and stolen is going to be found again. Now, if you've been following my journey in the last 30 hours on my personal page, uh, unfortunately, I lost my wallet, okay? I lost my wallet, and that's not a good thing. Absolutely not, because I'm traveling. And of course, my wallet, that has my credit card, that has my driver's license. Uh, you know, so my wallet has all these things that I need and I'm traveling, okay? And of course, as you're traveling, it's an inconvenience because, um, because you need everything that you have, okay? you know? Checking into a hotel, I'm traveling, ministering, checking into a hotel, you need your ID, you need credit cards, rental cards, you need IDs rent, uh, and credit cards, you need all these things. So there's all these hoops and bounds, there's all these protocols that you must go through in order to live a daily life and especially in order to travel as I do uh, on a daily basis. But I left my uh, wallet in Indianapolis and I believe I lost it. I believe I lost the wallet. I left it in the rental car yesterday morning. And you know what? Things happen. Mistakes happen. Uh, I was filling up the gas thing and I'm just kind of telling on myself but I'm also sharing all of this to catch you up to speed because I know God's doing something. So just listen to the story time, amen? So yesterday morning, uh, I had two hours of sleep. I flew from Indiana all the way here to Fort Lauderdale. And guess what? Of course, you have to fill up the rental car. You have to fill up the gas tank of the rental car. So I filled up the gas tank of the rental car. I got two hours of sleep. I'm tired, lack of sleep. And uh, I filled up the gas tank. I put the wallet on the center council. All right, the center console where you put your armrest, I put it on top. And I remember when I put it on top, I thought to myself, oh, that's not a good idea. I should uh, probably move it, but I didn't, okay? And eventually, I believe I drove off, and I believe I eventually forgot, and the wallet probably fell in the cracks and the crevices of the chair, so it's lost, long gone. We've tried our best to contact Payless Rental Car, and to contact yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So in Jesus' name, I believe it's lost and it's gone, unfortunately. So thank you for all of your love and your prayers and all of your messages because there was hundreds of people praying and commenting and I appreciate that truly, truly. But also, same time, I sent a big box of merchandise of our product, our oils, books, CDs, T-shirts, and you know, it costs money to uh, you know, to produce those things. So I sent a big box of merchandise, of our merchandise, ministry merchandise, from Dallas one week ago over here to Miami, Florida. But for a while, uh, I guess my friend uh, gave me the wrong address, so I received the wrong address, so he couldn't find it for a while, but today he found it. And yesterday, one of my check-in bags was delayed, but we got the bag. So I got the box, I got the bag, but I lost the wallet, okay? So three things took place yesterday. Is this unusual or is it not? Listen, I, cons I consider myself a professional traveler. I'm traveling every week, amen? I travel all the time. I've traveled the world. I've traveled to 60 countries. I'm here in Florida. This is not even a third world country, at least not yet. I rebuke that in Jesus' name, but it's not even a third world country, right? It's not like I'm in LA or in New York, or it's not like I'm in Mexico or in Uganda, or I'm in a third world country. This is Florida, but here, bam, 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 all these things are taking place. And yesterday, say yesterday, yesterday was the beginning of Passover, the eight day celebration. I believe right now the lost things are returning and God is releasing an anointing for riches to be found and to be discovered. I wanna declare over you right now, every lost and hidden thing is gonna be found. The Lord is releasing manifestation and he's releasing a returning and a restoration of the things that's been lost. Now, hear me now, I'm sharing my story because obviously God is working good through it all. Can I get an amen? He's working good through it all. I'm sharing this story, so I want you to listen to this. There is a fellow minister that I've known about uh, his name is Revivalist Thomas Hurd, Revivalist Thomas Hurd, and his wife is Brazilian, and they minister a lot in Brazil. Now, I've known about them for a number of years, but you know, I'll just be honest, everything you see is not God, and everything that glitters is not gold. And so I've seen these people on social media, and you know, I'm like, who are these guys? You know, it's like, you know, uh, there's some movement, there's ministry, yada, yada, yada. But you know, I had my own questions and my own doubts about them, right? 
But in the last year, I felt a shift in my heart and my spirit. And hear me now, because everything has to do about time. It has to do about timing, say timing. So I've known about these ministers for a number of years, but all of a sudden, in the last year, I felt a shift in my spirit. I'm like, maybe I should reach out to them or, or maybe I need to connect with them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. right? And then all of a sudden, I land yesterday in the midst of all of my hoopla, tiredness, and stress. Imagine you just found out that you lost your wallet and you're trying to relax and you're trying to enjoy your week because I just finished a big week in Indianapolis and God did some major things in Indiana and some mega doors have opened in the name of Jesus and that's for another day for another time. Somebody say amen. And so as I'm supposed to relax and rest and be in Florida and give me some sun and the fun and the sun of Shaka Baba before we do ministry, then bam, I lose my wallet, blah, blah, blah. But right as I land, Revivalist Thomas Hurd, this brother, this man of God. Uh, he comments and he says, hey, I see you're in Fort Lauderdale. We live here in Fort Lauderdale. Why don't you message me? If you ever need anything, let's do coffee, bam. So I was like, this is interesting. This brother that I've known about, and you know, I've kind of felt a little iffy about, you know, I've questioned and I've just kind of just kept at a distance for a bit. All of a sudden I'm in Fort Lauderdale, bam, hear me now. And then he messages me and he says, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, reach out. So I felt like that was an open door. And guess what? Yesterday, he picks me up from the airport. We go out to lunch, we fellowship, we connect, and it's a divine appointment. I want you to say amen. People of God, I'm gonna share some things because God has hidden secret agents everywhere. The Lord has spread out his army, his family. God has helpers everywhere. Can I get an amen? God is sending you help. You may not know it. You may not see it, but there are helpers that are hidden in every area, pocket, corner of the earth. And even this brother, even though he's a minister, evangelist, revivalist, prophetic voice, and I felt iffy about all of a sudden, boom, he reaches out to me, boom. And now God is releasing full circles. Somebody say amen. That's right, Pastor Sharon. Suddenlies and full circles. In this Passover season, I want to declare over you the suddenlies of God. Things are going to happen suddenly. And all of a sudden, boom, he picks me up with his lovely wife. We have dinner. We connect. We fellowship. And guess what? Now he's going to help me tonight in a few hours to get the rental car. Somebody say amen. Come on, give God some praise. God works everything out for his good. And sometimes we may not like it because we have to trust. We have to shift our usual schedule. We have to break out of our usual common controlled uh, way of doing things. But God is gonna do some very special and supernatural in your life. If you believe that, say amen. Now I'm sharing all of this with you because I believe this brother is, is a new brother for me. I believe he's a man of God. He's a revivalist. And I believe this is an open door, a divine appointment. Your disappointments are going to turn into divine appointments. Let me tell you, friends, there's always a blessing in midst of things that seem to go wrong. God's going to do something supernatural in your life. And I would declare it over you as God's doing in my life. He's going to do it in you in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Begin to build this room because I'm going to begin to get into the meat of things of what I want to tackle and focus and highlight today. We are in Passover. We are in a, a critical supernatural week season of our lives. I believe right now God is bringing the past to a close. God is bringing some beefs or some conflicts to an end. There are some doors that are closing. Your past season is done. It's finished in Jesus' name. Somebody commented on my post yesterday because I was not happy. I was really tired and frustrated, obviously. And it's okay uh, because I'm a man. I'm a human being. Amen. I don't go on Facebook or social media and rant all the time like somebody's other annoying people. But every now and then it's okay because even Jesus wept. You know, God is a God of emotions, amen? And I'm real like that, all right? But I also believe that you don't bleed on social media like all these people do because all they do is bleed and they, they're just attention seekers. I'm not an attention seeker. I know who I am. Can I get an amen? So all of this to say, I believe we're in a season right now where God is closing doors to the past and he's opening new doors. Let me give you this example. Yesterday, as I posted on my personal Facebook page, somebody commented, and you know, I could have been offended and you know, but 
But I felt like that was the Lord. But somebody commented and said, you lost your ID and your wallet. You lost your credit cards, your money, the access. You lost your driver's license, bam, bam, bam. And this person commented and said, it means you're gaining a new identity. It means your identity is being changed. Some of you think that there's identity theft. Some of you think that somebody is trying to steal my identity. Listen, let me tell you, baby, that old me is done. It's gone with, it's cut off, it's finished in the fire of God, in the name of Jesus. So in this Passover season, God is closing a door and opening a door. Listen, I've been praying into Fort Lauderdale and Miami for a while. Who here remembers I had a prophetic word years ago in my spirit from the Lord. I felt like God said to start a church or a hub here in Fort Lauderdale. And here I am, boom, prophecy is being fulfilled. And who here knows the greater the calling, the greater the conflict. Who here knows the greater the breakthrough, the greater the storm. Remember, Jesus had to cross the storm uh, just to get one demoniac, one legion set free in that region. and But they had to cross the storm. So the greater the giant, the greater the blessing. And I want to declare over you in this Passover season, there are heaps of blessings. There are heaps of plunder. There is a plundering anointing. You're about to gain riches, I'm telling you. Riches in secret places and hidden places. Treasure in dark places. In this Passover season, this is a season of riches. Can I get an amen? I want you to say, preach Dr. Ben. Because in this season of Passover, a new you is being born. A new you is being birthed. This week, this is the week where Israel got set free from their old identity, from their past of being slaves and in bondage to Egypt. And this is the week where they were set free. Let my people go. This is the week where they left Egypt. They plundered the Egyptians and they began to become a nation and a people group in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. So I want to declare over you riches, restoration, and a returning of the prodigals. This week, I believe we are in an open heavens window season where God is causing things to return to you sevenfold. Come on, somebody. The Bible says that when the enemy's hand is caught, then he will have to pay you back seven times over. I want to say overflow. There is a new beginning. There is a glory flow and overflow. And there is a harvesting anointing this week because every feast of God, every appointed time, every biblical appointed feast and time is actually a time of harvest. Somebody say harvest. Now, there's a few verses that I want to talk about here today in the name of Jesus. And I feel the fire of God. So excuse me, I'm perspiring like I always do. Amen. So I want to talk to you some verses because I believe in this week, there's full circle, there's harvest, there's restoration, there's a returning that's coming to you in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. So I want to give you a few verses here. First and foremost, praise God. Let's go over to Isaiah 45. Amen. Amen. Let's go over to Isaiah 45. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Rabbi Soto. Come on, I pray that you will receive this and obtain this in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Doesn't matter what you've gone through. Doesn't matter what the devil tried to throw at you. What attack, what Bidenomics, what inflation. Look at what's going on in New York right now. What happened yesterday in New York? The first day of one of the most important Jewish feasts. There's protests. These Terrorists are chanting death to America. They're, they're chanting death to America, death to Israel. The devil is a liar. We bind it in Jesus' name. So we really need to pray against these radical terrorist spirits. The spirit of terror that's manifesting. And I've been talking about this for years. But God is silencing the enemy. Can I get an amen? So let's go over to Isaiah 45. Amen. Let's go over to Isaiah 45. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm going to post here the certain verses but the whole chapter is incredible amen the whole chapter is incredible if you're with me today say amen isaiah 45 verse 2 to 4 verse 2 to 4 amen isaiah 45 verse 2 to 4 i pinned it to the top i will go before you and level the mountains i will break down the gates of bronze i will cut through the bars of iron i will give you the treasures of darkness someone say amen God has given you the treasures of darkness. Amen. Isaiah 45, verse 3. And the riches hidden in secret places. 
so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name for the sake of Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my chosen one. I call you by name. I have given you a title of honor, though you have not known me. If you receive that, say amen. So obviously, many people, scholars say that this is the Cyrus anointing. Now, the Cyrus anointing, King Cyrus, loosed the bonds of the Israelites. And King Cyrus allowed the Israelites to return back to the promised land. Somebody say, I'm returning. There is a returning to first love. There is, there's a returning to fresh fire. There's a returning back to the beginning. So there is a returning anointing, a full circle anointing, and there is a restoration that will be found there because you will find yourself in that place again. So God is releasing riches, treasures, and hidden secret places. If you receive that, say amen. Today, I want to declare over you, there are riches, there are blessings, there is plunder, there's revelation, there's something that God is doing in your life in the name of Jesus. All of God's people say amen. Listen, before I go to the next verse, I shared all of that personally to tie it in with this prophetic word and message today that relates with you and the corporate body of Christ during Passover. Amen. Here I am in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I know this is the reason we got a hit for Jesus, for the glory of God. I had a prophetic word from the Lord concerning Fort Lauderdale. Amen. But let me tell you this. Today, I received some good news. And no, my wallet wasn't found. It's still not too late. God can do it. He's the God of the 11th hour. But I received some good news. I'm not going to go into details. But there was some good news that I received today. And I've been waiting for this and waiting on this. So I just want to praise God because we received some good news today and it's something I've been working very hard in and I've been writing, you dig, wink, wink. I've been writing and working very hard in and I know it's gonna bless the world. So today we received some good news, all right? I'm not gonna say anything unless we got the contract and it's signed with my name in the dotted line, but there is a signing that's coming to place. God's about to sign with a signet ring. God is about to sign your name on a dotted line. The Lord is about to sign and release a signet sign, a signal. God's about to uh, put his stamp of favor upon you. And every delayed sabotage thing is going to come to pass in the name of Jesus. That's why I want to say good news. So today, finally, we receive some good news. Amen. And it is concerning a book, praise God. And you will hear more about that once the contract is signed and done in the name of Jesus. And we blood block this broadcast, any backlashing, jealous monitoring spirits, the Lord rebuke you by the fire of God. Bang, bang, bang in Jesus' name, amen. So um, because there's always sabotaging monitoring spirits. And I realized that, I realized that sometimes, you know, I, I, I like to boast in the Lord because my breakthrough is your breakthrough. And, but many times, if we're too public or too open about things too quickly, then it could actually thwart things in the process where the enemy and the shadowy dark spirits of the underworld, where they will actually begin to use vessels of darkness and they will begin to try to corroborate and try to manipulate and sabotage what God has for you. But if it's truly for you, then it cannot be touched by anybody, anything in Jesus' name. I want to say it's mine. Today I'm talking about Passover miracles. So receive it and release it in Jesus' name. Now let's go to another verse here, Philippians 4.19. If you're with me today, say amen. I'm live here in Fort Lauderdale and I'll be ministering in Miami and Fort Lauderdale this weekend. So come and catch me outside. Philippians 4.19, here the Bible says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. I want to say riches. Listen, God is rich. There's many, many riches. Earlier we talked about Isaiah 45, how God is releasing hidden riches, secret riches, treasures from secret dark places. God's releasing that to you. So this week, expect plunder, expect harvest, expect acceleration full circle. 
He's closing the door. He's closing a chapter to your past and a new thing is being done. It's being birthed. I am doing a new thing. Do not perceive it for the old has passed and the new has come. God is doing a new thing. I want to say riches, but God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I want to give you one more verse and I want to continue to talk with you before we close in prayer today. Amen. Ephesians 3.8, hallelujah. Ephesians 3.8, although I am the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ. I love that, the boundless riches of Christ, the endless, the limitless, the never ending, the overflowing, the lavishing, the butter, the fat of the land, the ooby gooby glory, that goodness of God that chasing me down, the boundless riches of Christ Jesus. Now I want you to imagine this. Um, Yesterday, I was at a cafe with my friends here that picked me up from the airport. And we went to this lovely little Italian cafe here in Fort Lauderdale. And the bakery, I said, wow, listen, I don't like sweets, but the bakery caught my attention. Amen. And I said, listen, the bakery looks scrumdiddlyumptious, looks delicious, and I need to ravish some of this beautiful pastries. So I had a little pastry and it was rich. I want to say rich, there's riches being released. And as I went and I tasted this richness, my, there's something that happens, my friends, when you experience the goodness, the glory of God. It's rich for your taste buds. You, shot, you, you experience, it shifts your palate, it shifts your emotions, your expression, it shifts everything. Why am I sharing this? Because the Lord is releasing the fat of the land, the goodness of the land, the glory of God. He's releasing the creme de la creme. He's releasing the best of the best. This is a season of Passover where you're going to plunder your enemies. You're going to gain seven times recompense. You're not leaving Egypt empty handed. And yesterday and today, the first two days of Pesach is when you have your Seder. So during the Seder, which in Hebrew means order, God is bringing divine order to your life. Your chaos is turning into alignment? Do you feel like everything is all over the place? Do you feel like things are shifting? Things are moving? Obviously, we live in a spiritual world and it is the beginning of the end times. So in the midst of all of this, God is saying, if you, hear me now, if you stay in your lane, if you stay and remain in your race, if you remain in your position, then I will give you the riches of the land. There is a release that's coming, my friends. A release that is coming over the people of God. But you need to stay in your lane, your position to receive it. Because there's boundless, there's endless, there's never ending. Come on, he's setting up a table before you and your enemies to feast on somebody. Say, come on, this is a season to plunder. He karabo shokara. This is a season to feast. This is a season to rejoice and be glad. You're going to have the victory. Your feet will be on top of your enemies. Your enemies will be a footstool for your feet. Come on, you're going to rule and reign. You're above, only not beneath. You're the head and not the tail. He's causing you to ascend. He's lifting you up. He's raising you up. In this season of Passover, your posture is of utmost importance. Your posture is of utmost importance. He's positioning you to rule and reign. He's positioning you to gain, to find, to discover, to have, to receive, to possess. He is positioning you for full possession of the promise. If you believe that, say amen. Listen, friends, I'm sharing all of this today because this is a full circle season. I want to declare over you in this Passover season, bam, bam, there is going to be a release in the spirit realm of riches, beauty, bounty, and glory over your life in the name of Jesus. Now, before I close by giving you some points, because every prophetic teacher should give you points, amen? But before I close by giving you prophetic points and praying for you today, I want to share a quick little tidbit. Yesterday, in midst of all my hoopla, Somebody messages me and says, Dr. Ben, I want to talk with you. Can I talk with you? And this brother is a pastor. His father used to pastor a megachurch. 
And I'm sure he would mind me sharing about this. I'm going to keep his name confidential. This person's name confidential. But I'm just sharing what's going on in my life. So in midst of my hoopla and my stress, I lost my wallet. I'm tired. I'm cranky. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I going to do? But in midst of all of that, I get a text from my friend. Um, he's a pastor and I haven't talked to him in years. And I actually went to Israel with him in, what, 2016, 17, long time ago. Um, but, you know, we're obviously different streams. And he's a pastor. His father used to be a megachurch pastor in California. And we're different streams. Obviously, I'm in, I'm in the prophetic. I'm in the glory stream. Bang, bang, miracle sign, the wonders. Somebody say amen. So all of a sudden, this brother messages me randomly and says, can we talk? I said, obviously, sure. You're a brother. And uh, you're a fellow uh, minister in the Lord. So yeah, let's talk. So I just got off the phone with him right now. I just got off the phone with him and his brother just began to honor me. And he began to honor me. And uh, and I knew it wasn't the praises of man or it wasn't just flattery, right? I could discern if something's a, f- a witchcraft flattery, if something just, you know, trying to puff me up to make me feel good, please. I, I know who I am. I don't need your shallow words. But this brother called me out of the blue and he just began to honor me. And he just began to to share his heart, acknowledging that throughout the years, he's seen the fruit of my life and of our ministry, that he has seen God move. And he humbly just began to ask me questions. How do you do it? How do you have these doors opened? How are you traveling? How are you ministering? How are you doing this? And I was so humbled and so taken aback that he would reach out to me as a man He would reach out to me and ask me and humble himself and honor me and give me that respect and that honor in that place. Somebody say full circle. That really blessed me. That blessed me because let me tell you, I'll be honest with you. All right. We're we're of different streams. And back in the day when I was a younger whippersnapper, I was a little bit more of a younger knucklehead back in the day. I still had the gift and the anointing, but I was in a process and I still am. Amen. But in those days, I felt that him and his friends were kind of looking down on me. I felt that him and his crew, because they're of another stream from me, I felt that they were kind of looking down on me, maybe because of my age, my youthfulness, my presentation, etc., etc. Years later, he reaches out to me and he humbles himself and he, he actually says, I want to learn from you. He says, I want to learn from you. He says, I honor you. I want to learn from you. He even asked me, can I travel with you? I want to just learn and travel with you and see how do you do what you do? Someone say amen. When grace is with you, God works out all things for your good. I want to declare over you, the past is ending. He's closing the door to your past. There's a new season, a new identity. Somebody commented, and I believe it wasn't a wise guy answer, but I believe there was something in that. But as I lost my wallet yesterday and in my public frustration and expression of that, and I wanted the world to know how not happy I was, but in the midst of that, someone commented and said, you losing your wallet, maybe there's something bigger to that. Maybe it's meaning you are gaining a new identity. People of God, in this Passover season, there's a returning, there is a full circle, there is a restoration, and there is a payback of harvest and blessing in the name of Jesus. I want you to say amen. So I want to give you three prophetic points as we close this broadcast in prayer. Are you ready for this? If you're ready to receive, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Let's build up the room. Let's finish big and strong in the glory of God before I finish off with prayer and prophetic impartation for you and over you. In these times of shaking, shifting, and the winds of change, Somebody say, hallelujah, Icaraboso. in these times of bang, 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 I want to declare these three prophetic points over you during Passover. Number one, expect a new identity. God is doing something new and fresh in your life. There's a new mantle, a new glory, a new level, a new authority. Come on, I love the verse in Isaiah. It says, no longer do I call you desolated, but I call you Hephzibah. I call you 
not deserted, but your land will be married. I give you a new name. God's releasing new names, new garments, new authorities, new mantles. People of God, he's giving you a new identity. Your garment is changing. It's time for you to change your closet. It's time for you to shift out of the old and into the new. There is a gift shift and there is a grace space for you. Somebody say amen. So first prophetic declaration I want to declare and release over you during this eighth day window of Passover of Pesach. Number one, God is releasing a new identity over your life. What does that mean? That means I don't identify myself as Abram. I am Abraham. I don't, I don't identify myself as this or that. Come on, I'm now moving in the apostolic, in the prophetic. There is an installation coming. God's about to install you. God's about to uh, ordain. He's about to commission. Listen, I want to declare over you. There's going to be some public uh, declarations, ordination. There's going to be public promotion for many of you. God's going to honor you and and promote you publicly before all of your haters in this season in Jesus' name. If you believe that, say amen. So number one, the first thing that you can expect in this season of Passover, of shaking and shifting and all these things going on, number one, a new identity. Do you know what that means? A new authority and a new glory, amen. Number two, the second thing that you can expect in this Passover season, it is a new anointing. So identity to anointing. Now, what does anointing mean? It means a new way of doing things, a new way of going about. The Lord's about to shift the form, the way that you do life. There is a gift shift. There, there is a shift, my friends. Remember, he's the God of manifold wisdom. Manifold means many sides. So he's about to shift, 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 like a diamond. Bang, 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 bang. You're about to shift. So the way you do things, the way you flow, the way the inner anointing comes out of you is going to shift. Okay, the way you go about things. So now your identity is now going to affect the anointing. The way that you flow in your purpose and in your destiny. Some of you, you got to hear me now. Some of you, what you've been doing has not been working. What you've been doing has is not good enough. What you've been doing is low key, a definition of insanity. What you've been doing is actually just religious works going around and around the cycles of the mountain. But there's gonna be a new flow of your anointing. God's about to release a new oil, a new bubbling up. There's gonna be a new grace and a new release that comes out of you in this season. Why is that? Because he's bringing us back to first love. He's bringing us back to the beginning. He's bringing us back to the birthing anointing in Jesus' name. So number one, there's going to be a new identity. Come on, who receives that? If you receive that, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. There's a new identity God's birthing out of you. Number two, there is a new anointing. And what does that mean? The way you do things, the way you go about your life, the way you orchestrate, the way you coordinate, the way you... Uh, the way you operate in your everyday life, there's a new flow of the anointing coming forth in Jesus' name. If you receive that, say amen, and I want you to give some hearts and likes. Now, the third thing I discern, and I want to declare over you, amen. The third thing that God's about to do over you is he's going to release new connections and open doors. Listen, some of you, you feel like doors have closed. Some of you, you feel like they're stale, mates in your life. Some relationships are stale. Some things are dry. Some things are not moving. It's not happening. Where's the divine appointments, Lord? All I got is disappointments and demonic appointments. Where are the divine appointments, God? Where are the Kairos people? Where are my people? Where's my tribe at? I want my tribe. I want my people. I'm tired of trying to fit into the chicken coop or trying to fit in with the turkey legs. I need my tribe of eagles. In this season of Passover, God is shedding the skin of the old. The old is being shedded. The old is coming off of you. And that even means old circles, old friendships, old connections, old doors. There are the old things that are shedding off of you, even like a snake or an eagle will molt itself. You must shed the skin of the old. Amen. And hear me now. Some people will not like the new you. 
many people will hate on the new you. But as you become new and as you flow differently in a new way, in a new realm, in a new level, hi Marcella, as you flow differently in the mighty name of Jesus, God's going to surround you with a new circle. Somebody say amen. When you find your tribe, you thrive. When you find your divine appointments, your Jonathan, your David, their covenant brother, their covenant sister, bam, then there is a multiplicative effect. One puts to a flight 1,000, but two puts a flight 10,000. God is sending his eagles. God is sending help. I want to declare over you, help is on the way. No more users, no more losers. No more lamos, no more tickle me elmos. God is sending right people where you will be kindred and aligned in the spirit and you will flow in the direction of God's power and his anointing. If you believe that, say amen. It's time to close the doors to the past. He's doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Behold, I am doing a new thing, says God. God is releasing these three realms over you during this Passover pressing. All right, your Passover, you will cross over. The Lord's going to do it in your life. Hi there, Donya, bless you. My good old friend from Singapore, almost 12 years ago. Love you, bless you. People of God, the blood of Jesus speaks a better word. And I declare Passover blessings over your life. Full circles, returning, a closing of the door of the past. Bam, bam, bang, bang. And he's going to release plunder, recompense, and restoration over you in Jesus' name. If you're receiving and believe it, I want you to say amen. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Give the Lord a mighty clap. Listen, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you, friends. I, I want to just, just give God thanks. He's so good to me. In the midst of all the little hiccups and nonsense and warfares, and God is so good. He, he's a good father. He's a loving God. He's a kind dad. And uh, Rachel, God bless you. Shout out to Patrice Lyons. She is one of our Benlam Ministries administrators and team members. So let's give her a mighty clap. God bless you. Prophet Ivana, our BAM fam, Open Heaven's World. But I believe in this season of Passover, you're truly going to cross over. You're going to cross over. You're going to step through and step out. And you're not going to look back. You're not going to be stuck in the old. So I believe as we are in the Hebrew month of Nisan, which is the first month of the new year, as we're in the Hebrew month of Nisan, God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Somebody say, man, listen, I want to pray over you. But Prophet Adrian, por favor, ven aquí, Señor, ven aquí. My covenant brother, Prophet Adrian, I just want him to say hello to you. And I'm going to minister over you, people of God. I'm going to minister. Come here, man of God. This is my good friend, covenant brother from Cuba, Prophet Adrian Pose. Prophet Adrian, hey, say hello. Man, blessings. Now, Prophet Adrian, um, you have a church in Cuba, Havana. Come, come yes. on. In Havana and also in Tampa, Florida. Yes. Now, <laughs> you are a miracle worker. You are a glory carrier. Look at that smile, guys. <laughs> and uh, we're pretty much like twins in the spirit. Amen? Yes. Yeah, we're That's twins right. in the spirit. Come on. Don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> uh, but you're going to be ministering with me. We're ministering together this weekend. Uh, what are you feeling? What are you expecting during this time as we're here in Miami and Fort Lauderdale? Just nice yeah. and loud, por favor. Yes. Respecting miracle signs, wonders, salvation. The lost will be found. Cancer will be healed in yes. Jesus' name. Breakthrough in the finances in the name yeah, of Jesus. Yeah. Angels released. Personal angels and specialist angels in Jesus' name. Yes. For different areas in your life in the name of Jesus. So we're looking forward, man of God, for this huge event that yeah. we have in Miami and for Lauderdale. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Will be awesome, and Sunday in Miami. Yes, will be there. Yeah, I'll you're be gonna back be, uh -huh. in, in Tampa, House mm -hmm. of Glory, Tampa, and Sunday ministering. So, looking forward for what the Lord is gonna do in Jesus' name in this weekend. Amen. Now, Amen. now I consider you a covenant brother yeah, because there's a kindred in the spirit, and you know when you there's a kindred in the spirit, you don't have to compete, you don't have to prove yourself. Yes. It's really you're safe, you're with family, and there's a multiplicative exponential anointing mm -hmm. and God's releasing kindred anointing spirits brothers sisters 
covenants and arms. He's releasing yes. brothers and sisters and arms Amen. all around the world. Why is that so important, Prophet? <clears throat> yeah. I see you, Prophet Lori. Hey, listen, I want y'all to comment so I can give you a shout out. I see you, Prophet Lori. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, honor is a culture. It's, it's the culture of heaven and brotherhood and covenant. You know, we must walk in. Uh, we, we, we must be a man of our word, a woman of our word. We must keep our, our word. We must cover each other, love each other, respect each other. So we can fully experience what God has for us on earth. So uh, the kingdom advance at the speed of relationship, right? So that's uh, true. Uh, we must experience that brotherhood and uh, koinonia, you know, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Yeah, amen. Because when the fellowship is sweet, the anointing sweeter. Yeah. And when the wine skin comes, which is relationships and unity, then the wine is stronger. Yeah. Now, some of you, there's a lack of wine because of a lack of wine skin. Hmm. And when God connects wine skins, there is a greater hosting ability of the glory of God. That's now, true. you are meant to host and carry the power of Jesus. So we just want to bless you in a little bit. But I'm really excited, Prophet, because this is Passover weekend. Who would have known we'd be here in Passover? I wish I was back home, my Open Heavens World family, so we could do a Seder. But I know Pastor Sharon's going to do a Seder this Sunday, so God bless you. But, um, I mean, you know, I, I, they're saying, what, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, there's going to be a couple hundred people in Miami. There's, You know, so we're believing for a great turnout and outpouring of the Spirit in this time. So... Prophet, any, any last words you want to say to the people? Yeah, it's an honor to be here uh, in Florida and in the south area of Florida. So we're looking forward for uh, for what the Lord is going to do this weekend. Yeah. So Amen. bless you guys. In the name of Come on, give it up for Prophet Adrian Pose. Amen. Make sure you follow him on Facebook and social media. The miracles Amen. they see in Cuba and all around is incredible. Yeah. You used to yeah. be a witch doctor, right? Yes. He used to be a witch doctor. Yeah. This guy right here. <laughs> but bam, bam, look at him now. He's a glory carrier. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. We, we used to have a, a witchcraft center in Cuba. And now it's a glory center for, for the nation. Come on. Name. Come on. And yeah. I can't wait to be back in Cuba with you yeah. in the month of what? June. In, in June. In June. So yes. come on. I want everyone to say Cuba shall be mm -hmm. saved. To say Cuba shall be saved. Amen. Amen. And Cuba Gooding Jr., you will also be saved. Amen. Amen. Bless All right, God bless you. Bless you. Come on, give the man of God a mighty clap. Amen. Well, listen, friends, I want to prophesy and minister over you. Amen. Uh, my brother was here, and I just wanted him to come in and just say hello to you. But we're in a prophetic time, a Passover time and season. And I want to minister to you. So listen, I just want you to comment and I want to pray over you in Jesus' name. I just was reminded I have a call in about five minutes because we are planning a crusade in Tijuana. Come on, Tijuana shall be saved. Amen. So listen, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for Passover miracles. From the top of their head to the sole of their feet, I ask you now, let the power of God come upon them. I ask you for miracles, signs, and for doors to be opened. That God will connect you to the right people. And that Kairos blessing favor will come upon you. The fire of God will come up. That the fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon you. So Lord, touch your people, cover them. And I declare you're passing through. You're passing over. And God is setting a table before you and your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Listen, I got like five minutes. I want to prophesy and pray over a few of you right now. I have, I have five minutes before I have to go. But uh, hey, continue to keep me in prayer. And uh, as we're going to be ministering in Fort Lauderdale and Miami this week weekend. Amen. So if you want me to pray for you, just come and pray for me. And uh, I will see the pool and I will minister accordingly in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A restoration and a returning is coming and has taken place in your life. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ramandes Corabrasa Tarabrasa. Marie Flores. Marie Flores. Listen, if you receive the word today, say amen. Let me pray for you, Marie Flores. I don't know where you went. Here you are. Marie Flores. Now, Marie. It's interesting. Your your Facebook icon is like you're in a fire. You're an avatar emoji. But I literally do see you like in a fire. It's almost like you've been walking through a fire. It's like um, there's a lot of things going on all around you. Stress, stress, fire, fire. But God says, though you walk through the fire, you will not be touched. And though you walk through the water, it will not overtake you. So I just sense in this season... God's teaching you the realm of rest, trusting in him, and he's showing you how protected and covered you are. So God's about to show up and show off in your life. I see God actually defending you and putting out fires. You don't need to defend yourself. He's going to defend you, and he's going to put out those fires himself. So I believe that you're about to see the hand of vindication, the hand of breakthrough in your life. So expect the storms, the firestorms to be put off. And the Lord's going to give you peace and rest and breakthrough and joy and victory in Jesus' name. Amen. If you receive that and if that makes sense, say amen. Now praise the Lord, this person here. Stephanie Abigail Sam. What a, what a name here. Uh, Stephanie Abigail Sam. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. I see a door opening for you, a new door opening. And I see a new door opening for you. It's a door of hope. It's a door of favor. And I see where you've cried tears of sorrow. But these tears of sorrow have been tears of intercession. So the Lord is answering your prayer like Hannah. And he's going to give you the desires of your heart. Remember, Hannah was weeping at the altar. And Hannah was crying and saying, God, I want a son. Give me a child. Give me a son. And the Lord answered the cry of Hannah. So God's about to answer your cry. He's about to give you the desire of your heart. He says, all of your sowing, seeding, serving, none of it has been in vain. None of it has been wasted and it's not ignored, but he sees it all. So he sees you. He knows you. He calls you by name. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray over two more people and then I got to biz ounce because I have another call to get into here. Amen. Connie Perez, let me pray for you. I believe you're the one who's come to our church a few times, right? Connie Perez, or maybe not. Well, Connie, just lift up your hands. I just see the spirit of witchcraft breaking over you and I see where there's been like a cloud, all right, a cloud of like discouragement, delusion, and even like manipulation from people, pressure from people, it's been over you. But I see the Lord is breaking that and he's releasing clarity in your life. The blood of Jesus is over you. And I see where you have to make some decisions, but God is saying, cut off the toxic spirit. There's one or two, I believe there's two, but there's one dominant toxic spirit and then there's another one. But you need to cut off these toxic spirits because these toxic spirits are really agitating you. It's not giving you any peace. In fact, it's like it's manipulation and it's domination over you. So you need to cut that off, Sister Connie. And I believe right now, God is giving you a lifeline. He's giving you a lifeguard, a safe way. He's extending his hand of favor to you. And he's saying, daughter, come to me. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to start afresh and to start anew. But in Jesus' name, God's going to cut off every tie. Ramande, every tie. Anything that's trying to hold you back by witchcraft and manipulation. I want you to repeat this, Connie. In fact, everybody, I want you to repeat to say, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. I am free 
by the hand of God. He set you free. You're free. The Bible says, let no man, or the Bible says this, owe no man nothing. You owe nobody nothing, Connie. Owe no man nothing. In Jesus' name, your debt is paid in full. Amen. Now let me pray over one more person. I'm already late for my call. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But please share this broadcast and give it a like, give it a follow, subscribe here to me uh, to be notified whenever I come on live. Amen. Glory to God. I want to pray over one more person before we close today. Ramandesu tarabrasa tarabrasa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This person here, Shakrita Tabunan Wilson. Shakrita Tabunan Wilson. Amen. Just lift up your hands, my friend. Praise the Lord. Shakrita Tabunan Wilson. Now listen, I see the Lord's going to visit you in dreams. There's a dream realm over you. And I hear God saying, get your pen and journal ready. There's some deep things he's going to reveal to you, some deep inner secrets, some deep inner things. And I just hear God saying, you're, in, you're so hungry for God, but you're also in a season of great growth. You're in a season of great growth. So do not worry about your husband and others not understanding you. Do not worry about them. It seems like you're running, but they're just walking slow behind you. The Lord's doing a new thing. And as you grow, everybody around you is also going to be blessed and benefits from your hunger and from that anointing. So God's going to visit you in dreams. He's going to show you visions. He loves to share his secrets with you. So get your pen and paper ready. God bless you. People of God is Dr. Ben Lim. I love you all. I'm here in Fort Lauderdale and Miami this week. Next weekend, we will be in Santa Maria, California with Steve Swanson. It's going to be a wonderful time. I love you. Hak Sameach, Hak Pesach Sameach. Share this broadcast. Get ready for what God's going to do. Shalom, shalom. See you soon.